dynamic economically with the latest state of the art, new technology, digital and AI. I'm honored to welcome all of you to Kuala Lumpur for the second ASEAN GCC Summit. It is indeed a profound privilege for us in Malaysia and ASEAN and for me to co-chair with Your Highness Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Kuwait. The summit, to give credit, the foundation of the summit was laid during the inaugural summit in Riyadh in 2023. And your presence is a testament to our shared commitment to foster strong bonds. The theme for ASEAN this year is inclusivity and sustainability. And um, we proceed with the ASEAN GCC framework of cooperation 24 to 2028, which was adopted at the inaugural summit. Now, GCC was ASEAN's seventh largest trading partner in 2023 with USD $130.7 billion. Growing investment reflecting confidence in both GCC and ASEAN. As I had referred to last night, ASEAN, alhamdulillah, happens to be the most peaceful region and economically vibrant and dynamic. GCC also, as I said, made that major paradigm shift from a gloomy desert culture to a vibrant promising, dynamic, economically, with the latest state-of-the-art, new technology, digital and AI expertise. So ASEAN-GCC relationship will certainly be key in enhancing inter-regional collaboration, building resilience and securing sustainable prosperity for all. Now, today's deliberations will be crucial in ensuring that our partnership remains dynamic, responsive, and impactful. We have the means and resp responsibility to rise as anchors of stability and engines for future growth. I look forward to a meaningful exchange of views that will pave the way for tangible initiatives under our growing and enduring partnership. Your Highness and uh, Your Majesties, uh, may I conclude by saying that this is, in our experience in this region, quite extraordinary to be able to bring not only ASEAN leaders, but the most dynamic GCC countries into this region to work together, build on trust, cooperation, and true friendship. <laughs> 